Hey everybody, this is Hope. Welcome back to the farm. Today Chris is teaching his freshman students <laughs> from the barnyard remotely, introducing them to chickens and goats. I think the animals are probably more fun to look at than me, so I'll keep the camera on them. There's something really awesome about that, I have to say. As many challenges as there are to remote learning, the fact that he's walking them around the barnyard is awesome. No, not the neutered ones because they can't they can't uh, get anyone pregnant. And we get and we bring a buck in uh, from a neighboring farm who uh, mates with all of the all of these does. We had two bucks this year. This, this black one here is Rosemary. She's always like one of the wider ones. I do have a favorite goat, but I'm not telling anybody because that, that wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> um, it's not purple. <laughs> I can't, I can't pick favorites really. Sometimes it depends on the day too. Today I wanted to introduce you to two goat buddies, Acadia and Ripley. They're the ones on the right. The one on the left is Rosa Parks. She's Ripley's mom. But Ripley and Acadia are our youngest two goats, and they both know how to hop out of the stall. So they pretty much just roam around the farm and do whatever they want. You might see them on the live cam out and about. <laughs> Ripley has a slightly different bob than everybody else. She sounds like a baby. <laughs> Katie has the most beautiful markings. And usually when Ripley calls her, she finds a way to hop right out. Let's see if she does it. It's getting a little harder now that she's pregnant. Oh, but she can still do it. deserve a little extra food because they're the little ones. I hope that like Chris and Acadia and Ripley, all of you guys are finding ways to hop out of normal life <laughs> into a new way of doing things that maybe is a little bit fun. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>